Hi, this is John Rule with RCS Programming, and uh, this is the project in its uh, in the editor that I have uploaded to the uh, Android App Marketplace. So you can this project is available when you install the uh, runtime editor. So you can uh, change anything you want. You can change the colors, the positions. These are all movable uh, objects. You can assign icons. You can do whatever you want to this project. But the important thing is the uh, the commands, so that you uh, you get the strings right, and they are very simple. In the release the release script of every object, what you can do is select uh, the editing tool, the arrow, and when you when you select a new object, the script window is updated with all of the scripts for that object. So simply have release script by uh, by default, release script is selected. So when you select a new object, you will see the release script for that object. And here's a very simple one. For the pause, the command is send OSC, and IP socket is a variable. We can actually uh, set that in the uh, in a script, getting information from from these two fields, and that actually happens in in Android too. Uh, and that's how we can we can set the IP address but and then we can use that in a variable and uh, the very simple command that Reaper has is T forward slash pause and we're telling what we're saying we're indicating what type of command it is it's a string and uh, actually for the very simple commands this this command is ignored but this is the uh, the status uh, the status byte or integer, whatever you're using here, integer, floating point, for example, the um, the sliders in the release script need a uh, open bracket, I, close bracket, just to indicate that a floating point integer is going to be uh, inserted on on the Android device. So that's just to indicate to the code on the Android. Uh, but because this is a live environment, this is actually a, a functioning slider. And in this repeat script, we also have another send. So while you're holding this and moving it, and I'll show you in the, um, the data monitor. Actually, we have some old data here. Let's clear that. Uh, when I press this, we can actually see that this is sending in... Uh, in real time. So we can control Re Reaper right now. We don't need to convert this at all. Uh, we haven't updated our IP address, so let's go ahead and, and put that in there. And then we can see, now we can see that it's sending to a local IP address port 8000, and we're sending a uh, an OSC command. So you can use this live, but let's go ahead and convert this. Let's reset all of our controls because it's going to convert it exactly, exactly the way we have it. And what we do is we select our our uh, Android, convert to Android uh, tool, and we make sure that the build, depending on how you want to do this, I want to build it and then I want to uh, load it into the emulator. That's the run emulator. If you don't have the emulator started, it will start the emulator. Some, sometimes it takes a while, so you might have to just, after the emulator loads, without building again, just run, load the project again but we're going to build and run and I'll show you on the uh, emulator I already have it loaded here but this will disappear it will uninstall the old uh, com.rcs programming application and this takes a while so I'm going to pause this but we can see here that it's building and there is a timer here this is going to take uh, about 60 seconds so I'm going to pause this all right, we can see the uh, the building succeeded, the signing succeeded, and now it's sending the command to the emulator. We can see that the old APK was deleted, and it's it's a rather large file, so it takes a few seconds to load into the emulator to load the uh, new APK. And there's our new APK. And we're done. So now we can start that in the emulator just to see what, what everything looks like.
and as we can see it's uh, it's just about exactly what it was a couple of minor differences but all of the controls will function from uh, from an Android device or the emulator if you're if you're changing things all right so here we have uh, Reaper started in the background and we have communication so we should see some control here you can see that our mutes mutes are working tracks 11 through 20 there's 11 and there's our master and let's see now in, in the live project we do have transport feedback because we have uh, we have control over the scripting it's very easy to get feedback from from Reaper uh, the Android that's going to take a little bit more programming so so that's coming but right now the uh, live feedback is only happening in in the uh, the project within the runtime editor now I wanted to show you uh, another project you can have multiple projects open and this is just another project where I have different types of controls different slider backgrounds and this is actually a group so that we can control the uh, the hiding and showing of the groups and the way that you edit controls in a group is you go into a background it's called uh, BG edit in the toolbar and that just takes you into the uh, background of the group so that you can you can edit each control and for controlling the uh, the pop-ups you have you have effects commands you have uh, set visible commands but I wanted to show you that this group was actually just copied from here with all of the controls intact this is a group all I did was grab this and copy and paste it into here and all of the commands follow so all of the scripting is um, is part of the object that travels with the uh, the button and I can press say a, uh, a slider command and you can see that this is controlling track 11 I didn't I didn't have to reprogram this code so all of the buttons were already programmed when I copied them over from from this project and that's track 11 rearm so all I did was copy that I copied that whole group and all of the uh, all of the controls so you can do the same thing so for example I could copy this this repeat and uh, here's the OSC command for repeat and metronome or the click track I can I can copy these two buttons into this project uh, where's it here this is an empty page here and it actually pastes them where they were from the other project so I have to open this up a little bit and you have to be in the edit mode to paste and the scripts follow along so I'm actually controlling the repeat and all I did was copy and paste that and the click track is turning on and off now since this is a group all I did was paste it onto the page so it's not part of that group that pops up if I want to do that I would I would cut and then go into the background edit and paste those controls and now they are part they're part of that group and that's how that works